Welcome back to Elon After Hours. Our first guests tonight are members from The Edge magazine. Please welcome Ali Dietz and Brooke Lowry. Thanks for coming on. Hello, hello. It's good, good to, to see you. Here. Good to be here. <laughs> I was going to say it's nice to meet you. But. Cool, cool. So you guys are the first guests of this mini like season, this spring. First show of the oh, season. Awesome. So yeah, or yeah, thanks for coming on. So you're from The Edge, the magazine. Yeah. Oh yeah. You guys make a magazine every how often? We put out a monthly edition. Monthly so, edition, yeah, okay. Our, we're aiming to put it out at the beginning of every month. I, I thought it was like more spread out than that, but I guess that's mm -mm. just how much I don't know. It well, used to be. Yeah, so the Edge has gone through a lot of transformations, okay. especially in the past year. Um, and so like as of spring last year is when we kind of got the big makeover. Lindsay Lanquist, who recently mm -hmm. graduated, yeah. completely transformed the whole thing, made it more of like a lifestyle fashion magazine. Yeah, I like that. Um, I like that. And then, but they weren't really printing or anything. So then, mm -hmm. starting this last fall, we started printing every month and um, releasing it online as well. So okay. we're sticking with that schedule as All of right. now. <laughs> cool, cool. And real, real quick, what are your guys' roles in the? I am a style reporter. Okay. So I'm a writer. And I'm managing editor. So. Cool. Okay. So let's talk about what goes into making a magazine. Like every mm -hmm. every month, how do you guys do that? Like, what's the process? Yeah, so it kind of starts, um, we, we hold weekly meetings just to kind of touch base with mm -hmm. everybody and know what's going on, but we sit down at the beginning um, of the previous month um, and we kind of lay out, the editors meet with their designers, so mm -hmm. it's, it simplifies the process so that way the di designers know going into it what content they're getting, they can lay it all out, they pitch meetings, we kind of go through all of it and then it takes those next two weeks for them to organize photo shoots and put together the whole thing so we can release. Awesome. Yeah. Is, is, so yeah. as a reporter, I have to pitch ideas to my editor mm -hmm. and then I believe she pitches them to Brooke and yeah. then Brooke chooses what goes into the magazine and we go from there. So everything in, in the magazine has been approved by you? Yep. <laughs> That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty much. It's really exciting. Like, I used to be fashion editor last year, so I always had a really fun time being on set. It's one of, like, mm -hmm. the most interactive positions on the magazine where you're creating content constantly and organizing stuff. So when I got promoted, it was a mm. lot of fun because I still get to kind of have my yeah. hands in the <laughs> work that's going on, and I love that. So I like that I get to expand cool. from fashion, too. So, so basically every month... You have like a you, you get people to to be like in it because I know my friend yeah. Hannah was on like the cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, how, how do you, how do you go about like finding the people to be in it and stuff mm -hmm. like that? So it kind of depends. Um, our cover and feature stories, we just kind of keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. The Edge is really combined with the Pendulum, our newspaper, yeah, so yeah. it's a good resource. We share editors, so like Allie writes columns for the newspaper as well. So we we really do have our foot in the door of all aspects of Elon. So we're That's always awesome. looking to promote promote people that are doing cool things and different things on campus. So our stories come from there, and then the fashion editor sits down, and we we have a whole team of 70 fashion members. Wow. Yeah, that aren't editors. Wow, yeah, but just people that are interested, and they want to contribute, and they want to make cool stuff. So they sit down, and they think of what model would look best, and then basically it's a big Facebook search from there and see who we can uh, find. Well, hey, if you need, like, you know, maybe, like, someone <laughs> for the next issue, I don't know, like, I'm available. Yep. No, it's all right. uh, so real quick, you have the, the, the next one coming out. To, to tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Like, is, is, is it, it's not released until then, right? Yeah. So right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes out tomorrow, and then we're having a party at Tony's yeah. tomorrow oh, okay. night. Okay, so that's how it works every <laughs> so. month. And then how do you find out, like, the viewership? Like, how do you find, how do you know, like, oh, this magazine did really well, or this one didn't? So, um, we do release online as well. Mm -hmm. um, so the full article, like the full magazine spread will be up online. So obviously we can track it that way. We yeah. do a lot of Facebook sharing and promoting, um, which allows us to kind of look through and see how many views we've had and interactions. Oh, cool, yeah. um, but then we also, we only print 200 copies a month. So it's really cool because you can kind of see like they get eaten up so yeah, fast and yeah. you'll put them down one that minute really and come can. through an hour later. Yeah, and they're gone. Oh, that's crazy. So. Awesome. We've been lucky, yeah. yeah. <laughs>